Well, the media nationwide reported the crowd at 62,000 people, which will make it, which will be the number the show will be associated with forevermore. The media coverage was similar to a world boxing title fight or the NFL football game in the U.S. to the, to the point that Cian Caras and Conan were on all the network newscasts the day of the show and the top-rated news magazine the show in the country, equivalent to 60 Minutes, ran a feature on the card the last week. So, I mean, look, to say that it's a big deal down there, I mean, this is a it's, wrestling event. Yeah, and, it's crazy, man. And it's getting on the equivalent of 60 Minutes, just madness. Yeah. Now, now, uh, you said that uh, Conan had called you. Were you at all familiar with the Red Hot no. feud that they had going on? No, not at all. And so when he called you, that's the first time you're ever talking to this guy. That's right. And you had no idea what kind of a star Conan was? Nope. <laughs> well, uh, let me put it into context for our listeners. Uh, it's He was like Hulk Hogan in their culture to our culture, but like way, way bigger. Uh, yeah. To the point where he's in movies, he's on TV, he's got music, magazines, radio. Uh, the guy was driving a Ferrari, apparently, at the age of, like, 21. Uh, so, like, to say he was a huge star and successful just does not yeah. even begin to cover it, right? No, it doesn't. And, I mean, here you are, Jake. It's You're you're done with WCW, WWF, but now you're in this other promotion, and you're about to be rubbing shoulders with this guy. I mean, uh, pretty pretty awesome opportunity. Yeah, I didn't have any idea how big of a star he was till I got down there. And uh, the only way I could play it up is like, yeah, you're you're a big star in the city, you know. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you know it's, yeah, you're like Mickey Mouse to me. Man, it's and and look, it's there's there's something to that uh, because <coughs> for all of the success that he had and stuff, it's like how many Americans did know about him? Where None. like in America, everybody knew exactly who Jake the Snake was. So I mean, yeah. really, really, he was kind of getting the rub from you coming in, uh, especially yeah, with. Was especially with the business that they're getting ready to do here, uh, which we'll get into shortly. Uh, at this point, you're getting pretty familiar with Conan. Yeah. Uh, what do you what do you think of him as a guy? He's all right. Yeah? He's all right, yeah. Yeah, I had no problems with Conan. Uh, what did you think of him as a worker? Next question. <laughs> Not quite your style, right? Not quite my style, no. no. Right. Uh, he, I, he'd been wrestling their style for so long, man. It, it just didn't... It was hard to match it up. But once we got together, it was okay. You didn't feel like you were too out of sync once you got in the ring with him? Well, I was still able to do things. Well, uh, I we mean, definitely weren't in sync. Are you would so <sighs> look, this is this is his promotion. He's the biggest yeah. star in the promotion. Yeah. When yeah. you get out there, are you taking charge and like I'm leading this fucking match? You're fucking you right, I did. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I did. I've heard that he's like he can be a polarizing guy, and he's yeah. very not afraid to express his opinions. No. Uh, does he give you any shit when you're saying I'm leading no, this match? Not at all. As well, he, he let, shouldn't. He let me roll with it. As well, he shouldn't. Not only are you, are you older, not only do you have more experience, yeah. but really, yeah. it's look. You're let's let's face it. In in this country, you're a bigger star. Period. Yeah, absolutely. 